Ladies and most gentlemen, today we are going to talk about the Veil of the Eternal Blossom and more specifically, Veil of the Eternal Blossom in patch 8.3 uh, with the Nazoth Assaults and the four mounts that you can actually obtain when this patch drops on January 14th. But before we get into all of that, I just want to thank our sponsor of the video today, and that is my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash MrGM. I'm live right now. So if you didn't know, in patch 8.3, they are doing something called Assaults. These are happening in Oldham and the Veil of the Eternal Blossom. If you want to look at the mounts that you can obtain through Oldham, I do have a video that I put out just the other week. But one thing to know about these Assaults is that there are three that rotate, and each of them have different spawns. So for the Veil of the Eternal Blossom, you have an Assault on the left-hand side, which looks like this, and is called the Endless Swarm. You have one in the middle, called the Warring Clans, and you have one on the right called the Black Empire. And as I said, different NPCs spawn when these different phases are up, which means some of the mounts will not always be obtainable at all times. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight into the first mount, and that is Ren's Stalwood Hound. And this drops from Houndlord Ren, who is spawned during the Warring Clans Assault, which takes over the left and center of the map. Looks a bit like this, and he is located up in the top left-hand corner and patrols with a couple of NPCs. He is very easily soloable, and he drops this mount, as I just said. Uh, this mount is a recolor, of course, of one of the Island Expedition mounts, and also the Missipandaria Collector's Edition mount. This mount does not fly either. So, yeah, it's a ground mount. Looks okay. I'm not really the biggest fan of this. It's just another recolor of a mount that we've already had. But I guess it's always nice to have more mounts. Speaking of recolors, the next mount is Zin Leo. I think that's how it's pronounced. And this drops from Arn D the Loyal. And he is spawned during the assault, the Warring Clans again. So, very similar to the last one. Around about here on the map. And he will patrol around and is very easily soloable once again. This is the exact same model as Ren Stalwood Hound, uh, just a kind of greeny, goldy, yellowy version of it. Um, again, not too much to say about this mount, it's whatever, it doesn't fly, it just runs, and uh, it's just another mount for the collection, honestly. If, if you like those mounts, then patch 8.3 is going to be your dream. So, moving on to the big one, and this is the one that people are going to talk about the most, and this is the Clutch of Ha Lee. Now this drops off Ha Lee, who is always spawned once again during the Assault, the Warring Clans. So that Warring Clans one, the one with the left hand side and the center of the map taken over, is the one where three of these mounts do drop. And Ha Lee is in fact a recolor of the Clutch of G Kun from the Throne of the Thunder Raid, a very low drop rate mount. So this is really huge, having this mount come in at potentially a fairly decent drop rate will be very interesting and it's such a cool mount. Those Pandora and Phoenix mounts are extremely rare and having the clutch of Harley dropping in 8.3 will be very very interesting indeed. Now Harley spawns east of the ruins of Gao Lai I think it's pronounced or something like that and he flies in a regular clockwise circle high above the ground. I don't think he's soloable so you probably will need a small group to take him down. To be honest there's going to be a ton of groups farming this mount because this mount is going to be the rust feather of patch 8.3 i'm telling you right now and i am definitely going to be trying to get this one every time that that assault the warring clans is active and finally this is a very interesting one and this is the ivory cloud serpent now not a lot was known about this mount and its origins and everything like that in the ptr but recently sang helios left a absolutely fantastic comment on wowhead explaining how this mount is obtained so this is how it goes down Essentially, you need to get an item called the, the Zan Tien Lasso, and that is an epic item that drops off Mogu NPCs. Now, the Ivory Cloud Serpent is a friendly NPC which flies around the brand new Veil of the Eternal Blossom. I don't think it matters which assault is active, so, th so this is possible to do at any time. Now, what he does is he flies around, and what you want to do with that lasso once you obtain it is find him and cast it at him. It's a two second cast, so you've got to be pretty quick, and once that cast goes off, you obtain the Ivory Cloud Serpent. And there's no drop rate, there's no killing, there's no nothing. It's literally you get the lasso, you lasso him, and you get the mount. And this mount is interesting. The model was added back in Mr. Pandaria, finally being used in patch 8.3. So yeah, that is how you obtain the Ivory Cloud Serpent. So, that is pretty much it guys, do let me know down below what you think of these mounts, personally I'm really excited for Harley, definitely, definitely, definitely is going to be the number one one that I'm going to be going for when this patch drops on January 14th. Also, a massive shout out to Blizz Planet and Sipta for the fully footage of some of the mount kills, their links are down below in the description below this video. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members and Twitch subs, you guys are awesome, and if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. 
So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members, and I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrJM. As I said, streaming World of Warcraft, having a really good time over on twitch.tv slash MrJM. I'm live right now, so come check it out. We're going to be flying around the PTR and finding these mounts. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.